Hey everybody, I'm Hepperi. Welcome to another episode of the One Chunk Ultimate Iron Man. In the last episode I trained my woodcutting to level 99 with a steel axe and obtained the woodcutting cape. Along the way I got up to level 75 fire making and level 93 fletching. I also got level 20 attack by mainly killing imps but still need to grab the mitral battle axe. I got 17 hunter just from XP lamps and I did all the possible quest and diary objectives. Here's an overview of the skilling challenges. In short, I got a lot done but still have a lot of work before I can leave my first chunk. Buckle up, in this episode I'm starting the extremely long grind that is 99 defense. Alright, with 99 woodcutting achieved, I don't need the steel axe anymore, so I'm selling it back to Bob and buying the Mitchell battle axe. And by wielding it, I complete another skilling challenge. I will be using it to train my melee stats for now, until I can wield the rune spare that I got out of a mystery box last episode. There is the first level of the video, 18 hit points. I'm going to see how viable it is to kill imps for raw chicken and eggs, because I need to get 42 cooking in this chunk. They are very annoying though, constantly teleporting out of the castle walls and behind the castle and then I have to run all the way around and hope they wander back here because I can't go behind the castle, that's outside of my chunk. Men and women are still too strong for me at the moment, I've only killed a few and I'm almost dead. I'll grab myself some Iron Man armor, it has the same stats as Iron Armor, that's better than nothing. Strength level 20, that's the same as my attack, but I'm going to keep training strength for a bit, up to level 40 or so. Another Bob the Cat fishing random event, and it gets me 26 fishing, 20 hit points, 15 prayer, and I'm dead. But I respawn again right here. This is why, especially as an ultimate Iron Man, I chose my first chunk to be Lumbridge. If you didn't know, if ultimate Iron Man die, their items stay on the ground for one hour and cannot be seen or picked up by other players. This is often done intentionally to have more inventory space and I'm sure I will also be using this mechanic from time to time. So by respawning in Lumbridge at least I don't leave my unlocked chunks while doing it. And there's 25 strength. I died again, but nothing to worry about. This is easier than trying to stay alive with food, because food isn't exactly easy to get. Level 30 strength. I totally forgot, I can grab a free training shield from the melee tutor. Might as well use one with the battle axe. I think it looks great with my armor. And I can already go and reclaim everything. <laughs> There is 25 hit points. Egg number 5 in the inventory already. You would think that's good to train cooking, right? But I first need to get 13 cooking from raw chickens before I can make these eggs into scrambled eggs. And currently I'm not getting many raw chickens. Anyway, I also got this beginner clue that I can do at hands, but let's try and juggle it for a bit to increase my chance at getting a casket. There's 20 prayer. Oh, finally, another raw chicken. Hopefully it doesn't burn. A hey, level 3 cooking. Okay, new plan. Because killing imps until level 42 cooking isn't going to work for me anymore. I'm sick of them. And I really want to get rid of these 5 eggs that I've collected so far. I have some cows in the chunk, and cows drop raw beef. Unfortunately, I can't get to the cows because I can't reach the gate. I could range the ones behind the fence from here, but then I can't pick up the raw beef. If I can't get to the cows, I need to get the cows to me. And when the gate is open, they sometimes wander outside, so maybe if I hop worlds a few times... There is one. Let's try and find some more. That's a full inventory, I'm going to cook these and repeat. And there's 13 cooking. I can now make these eggs into scrambled eggs. Finally my inventory is a bit more empty again. Raw beef is definitely the way to go for 42 cooking as well. 
that was way easier than killing imps, and cows outside of the cow pen aren't actually too hard to find. 13 flex from a beekeeper event, I'll hold on to them for now. These will allow me to fletch my own bow up to a U bow if I want one in the future. There's level 30 hit points. And 40 strength. That will do for now. I'm going to train attack again so I can wield my rune spear finally. I'm dead again. Oh my god, I just lost the beginner clue that I had on the ground. You know what, I cannot be bothered to try this hard. From now on, if I get a step that I can do, I'm just going for it, like I did during the woodcutting grind, and hope it's a one step casket. I can't hold on to too many rewards anyway, so there's no point in grinding out clues at this point of the account. There's level 25 attack. And 25 prayer. That unlocks the most useless prayer, protect item, as it simply doesn't apply to ultimate Iron Man. That's a Prism Pete random event completed for... Grimy Snapdragons. These are the only herbs that I will be able to hold on to, since they are noted. All other herb drops from men and women that I will get aren't noted and I'll have to leave them on the ground. So much herb lore XP that I unfortunately cannot keep in my inventory. 30 attack. And I died again. Ah, the Pillory Guard random event. The only one that I will always dismiss. It actually takes you to Yanil, so as long as that chunk is not unlocked, I can't do the random event. Talking about random events, just for fun, let's make a tier list of which random events are pretty much essential and which ones I'll dismiss all day every day. Okay, starting with the Pillory Guard, like I just mentioned, definitely dismiss tier, cannot leave the chunk in the overworld. Beekeeper event goes into awesome tier, for the chance of getting flex, currently it's my most efficient crafting XP. Captain Arnov, I usually can't be bothered, all it really gives is GP and gold items, which I would sell anyway, and it's never a lot of GP. Niles, Miles and Giles, sometimes they give useless items, but they can give up to 640 GP, and it's only 2 clicks anyway, so definitely better than nothing. Then Sergeant Damien, I'm still looking for the camouflage outfit pieces and the emotes from this random event at the moment, so I'm going to put it in awesome tier for now. The Drunken Dwarf, this one's pretty bad, because a beer and a kebab don't mean anything to me, at least not in the game. But it's only one click to get the reward, so it's better than dismiss, but still can't be bothered. Then the Evil Bob Fishing Random, always very nice to get fishing XP without actually fishing, so awesome tier for sure. The Evil Twin or Molly Random Event also goes into the awesome tier. I would love to get some noted uncut gems for future crafting XP. Freaky Forester, got the Lederhosen outfit on the collection log already, so dismiss tier. The Genie, definitely essential tier for the free agility XP. Everybody loves to see a genie spawn. Leo the Gravedigger, just like the Freaky Forester, got everything unlocked, so dismiss tier. Dr. Jekyll gives a strength potion, so it has some kind of use to temporarily increase my hits, but usually I can't be bothered if I'm honest. The Frog Princess is technically also useless, but the nice thing is that doing it still increases the frog token counter in my collection log, and it doesn't take any effort, so I'll put it in the lower end of better than nothing. The Mime random event? Dismiss, because I have everything unlocked. The Mysterious Old Man for the Maze random is always amazing for the rewards, so awesome tier. Flippa, the pinball random? It basically gives gems that are already cut, so no crafting XP. But they do sell for a nice amount of coins, so definitely better than nothing. The Evil Bob Prism Pete random I also like, because there's a chance for law runes or uncut gems, so awesome tier. The Quizmaster, super awesome, because it already gave me a rune spear, and there's so much more that a mystery box could potentially mean for the account. Actually, I'm going to put it in essential tier. I don't want to miss a Quizmaster random. Rick Turpentine, same reward potential as Mr. Niles, but only one click, so better than nothing. Sandwich Lady, just gives food and it's useless at this point. The Strange Plant, nothing special, it's always disappointing, but it's only one click and the fruit restores my run energy, which could be nice, but still, high end of can't be bothered. 
And finally, the surprise exam random event. The random event that always makes me happy when I see it. The best random event by far in my opinion, because it gives 1.5 times the XP of a genie lamp. There you go, if you would like to make your own tier list for random events, I'll put the link in the description of this episode. 35 attack. And there we go, 40 attack. I can now wield rune weapons and that means I'll be switching to my precious rune spear. The thing about spears that some of you may not know yet is that they have only two training options. Either you get shared XP in attack strength and defense or you just get defense XP. Luckily for me, defense XP is what I need. Imagine if the only options were shared XP or just attack XP, then this would be a terrible weapon for this grind. But the spear is actually perfect and it has faster attack speed than the battle axe. The same as a scimitar. Let's sell the battle axe back to Bob, don't need it anymore. For now I'll train with the shared XP option for a bit longer to get attack and strength a little higher, but this is where I start gaining defense levels. Oh, a dunce. That XP reward is going into agility. Level 2, 3, 4, 5 defense. And apparently total level 500. Quite a few of you have commented on episode 1, asking why I didn't collect mind and air runes from the magic tutor during the long woodcutting grind. And of course, I listened to your advice. I've started collecting the runes, better late than never. But as a serious answer, Woodcutting was very AFK and as I mentioned in that video, I really valued my inventory space. The more space, the longer I could AFK. I also knew that the defense grind would take way longer, so now that two inventory spaces don't make much of a difference, I will collect mind and air runes every 30 minutes. And to help me with that, once I've collected, I will home teleport, so a 30 minute countdown is displayed on my screen as a reminder to know when I can collect again. I should still be able to stack an insane amount of runes before I complete the chunk. There's 30 prayer, 15 defense, and 41 attack and strength, 20 defense, 25 defense, 42 attack and strength, 40 hit points, 43 attack and strength, 30 defense, 44 attack and strength. A clue step I can do. Nice, it's a one-step casket. With steel plate legs. I can wear those now. Is it just me or does it look like I'm wearing skinny jeans? And 35 defense. Another one-step casket already. Ah, that's pretty trash. Got another Prism Pete random event and I get noted toad flags. The second type of herbs I can keep. And there's 45 attack and strength. That will do for now. I want to focus on defense for a bit, because training on shared XP is pretty slow. 40 defense coming in. That's the level needed for rune armor. However, I don't think I will see any rune armor in this chunk. Got my first demon surgeant random of the video. I already had the camo top on the collection log, but this time I'm keeping it so I can get the other pieces as well. 37 prayer for protect from magic, that's my first overhead unlocked. Another beginner casket for two fire staffs and a steel dagger. This time I'm keeping one staff and the other two items will sell for nice GP in the general store. Now that I got myself a staff, I kinda want to train a bit of magic. That's level two. I need level three to cast the confuse spell to use up the body runes that I got from a casket earlier. There's level three. Now I just need some water runes from goblins. Oh right, goblins drop body runes as well. I'll just receive more while I'm trying to get rid of them, so there's no point. I'm just gonna drop them. Back to training defense. There's 45 hit points. Um, someone just dropped a Mitchell scimitar here. If that's an attempt at trolling me, that's a fail. I still tried to pick it up, but I mean, that was for scientific purposes. To see if the perpetrator would show themselves. <laughs> Ooh, another genie. But this lamp will get me just short of level 2, so I'm going to hold on to it until I get an XP book instead. Once level 2 agility, this lamp will be worth 20 XP instead of 10 XP. Level 40 prayer, my second overhead protect from missiles. Another fishing random event for 27 fishing. 19 more flex from a beekeeper random. 55 defense. Oh my god, uh, I, have, I have no idea why I switched to my stuff. Now my stack of air runes isn't dividable by 30 anymore. I have to fix this for the autistic part of me. 
Okay, that's better. Got 5 magic from that, by the way. And there's 50 hit points. And 43 prayer. The third overhead protect from melee. Now these men don't stand a chance. A maze random for... Coal, nature runes and iron arrows. Very nice. Got the second camo piece, the camo bottoms. I would show you, but you can barely see my character. It's somewhere on the screen. Let me know in the comments if you can see my character. An egg drop from an imp. Might as well go cook it. 14 cooking. 44 prayer. And 52 hit points for total level 600. Got my first molly random event of the video. And I get uncut rubies. Just as a reminder, that does not create a new chunk objective, but I'll gladly hold on to them for future crafting XP. There we go, the final camo piece, that's all for random events, except for the stale baguette. If only my mystery box look was a little better. 45 prayer. And a big 60 defense, the level 4 dragon armor. A one step beginner casket, oak longbow. 46 prayer. And a maze random for my first mitral ore. I'm going to use all my flex for some crafting XP. There's 17 crafting. A mystery box for a steel plate body. Another maze. And I get death runes. Very nice. Sorry. Oh, this guy says sorry for leaving the door open. I always close this door so the men and women don't walk in. Okay, seriously? What the fuck? Come on, man. Thought you were bot, lol. Ah, uh, how nice. He did close the door for me. There it is. The XP book I was waiting for. Level 2 agility. And now I can use this lamp as well. 49 prayer for redemption. 65 defense, a genie, and this lamp gets me 3 agility already. Some nice uncut emeralds from a molly random. And 50 prayer. Beginner casket number 15. Steel plate legs again. An easy clue that I can do. Oh, second step is also doable? Nope, third step is a bust. Holy shit, that was fast. That's another molly random completed for uncut sapphires, future crafting XP, a beginner casket, the one stuff that I already have. And there's 52 prayer, and that is smite unlocked. I could keep going with prayer, but burying bones really slows down the defense XP, and smite is actually the final prayer that I can use, all the other ones I have to unlock first through quests and stuff. So for now I'm going to leave it at that for prayer training. An XP book from a dunce, there's 4 agility, 69 defense, nice, and 60 hit points. Finally got the last Surgeon Damien random to unlock all the training emotes. Now I can drop my whole camo outfit and we can see my character again. No need for the Surgeon Damien random event anymore, so it's going into dismiss tier. Okay, I've decided to start with cooking again. So, I'll just be in this corner of the chunk, hopping worlds and looking for cows. This time though, if I find cows that are out of the cow pen, but also still outside of my chunk, I will cast one airstrike to tag them and they should just walk to me. It's that easy. Let's get started.
There is level 42 cooking. I can now fry this onion that has been laying on this table for god knows how long. So first we chop it into pieces. And then we... <laughs> and then we successfully cook some fried onions. That's another chunk objective completed. 24 magic. I'm just making my air rune stack dividable by 30 again. <laughs> 28 fishing from a random event. Easy clue. And I can do the second step. But not the third, unfortunately. Uncut diamonds from Molly. Again, it's not a chunk objective to cut these, but they will be nice in the future. 71 defense. Another beginner casket. Nothing. 72 defense and a lamp going into agility. 29 fishing from a random event. Another one step beginner casket. Steel full helm. And another casket. Mind runes and steel eggs. That X will be sold to Bob. 73 defense. 290 steel arrows from a maze random. And 30 fishing. I now have the level to catch salmon in Lumbridge, which is actually a diary task. However, I have no fishing rod, so I'll have to come back to complete that task whenever I do have one. 74 defense. And another genie. This lamp gets me 6 agility. And there's 75 defense. So the XP rates I'm getting here is about 10 to 11k defense XP per hour, if I'm taking it easy. If I try very hard and my RNG allows me to hit quite high, then I can keep 13 to 14k XP per hour rates. But that definitely doesn't happen often. 65 hit points, 76 defense, that's roughly one tenth of the way to 99. Still a very long way to go. 66 hit points, and another fishing random for 31 fishing. I'm getting a lot of these lately. An XP book. This will get me 7 agility. 77 defense. A beekeeper random. So not long ago Jagex updated the beekeeper random event to be more in line with the other costume giving random events and it now prioritizes outfit pieces if you don't have them. And that's bad news for me, because I want the flags to train my crafting. But now, I will have to sacrifice some inventory spaces for the outfit before I can get more flags. It is what it is. I know I could also wear the outfit instead of having it in my inventory, but then I would look even more like an idiot. The beekeeper random event is now very much essential tier. Aha, there's the beekeeper body already. At least I'm getting the pieces quickly. 67 hit points, and total level 700. Another mystery box, 20 nature runes, 78 defense, 68 hit points, don't ask me why I have the whole mime outfit in my inventory as well, 79 defense, there, got the mime mask back, that's all I wanted, now I can drop the mime outfit again. Why so serious? One step beginner casket, number 20, cabbage, amazing. An XP lamp for level 8 agility and 69 hit points. There's finally the beekeeper legs. I can now receive flex again and I will collect as much as I need for at least level 20 crafting because at level 20 I can start cutting sapphires. Decided to train up attack and strength a bit more. There's level 46. 47. A maze random. Ooh, nice amount of runes. 48 attack and strength. 49. And 50 attack and strength. That looks a lot nicer than 45. And I guess my hits have also improved. Just missed it, but I got level 80 defense. Almost 2 million defense XP. There's 70 hit points. Ooh, and a genie as well. I'll take it. A beginner casket for... A leather cowl. That's the worst reward yet, I think. Another molly random event. <laughs> I think that was the least amount of effort I ever had to do here. And I get 4 diamonds. Another mystery box for 20 nature runes again. I'm not complaining. Defense level 81. 71 hit points. Another 1 step beginner for... Trash. And this beginner clue is a back to back lumbridge step. And a casket. More trash. 82 defense. Level 72 hit points. Please let this be a maze random. Oh, it's a mime. I'm literally on 24 useless random events in a row now. Finally got a quiz random for mystery box number 27. 
A medium clue. That I can't do. 83 defense. My first beekeeper with flex after so long. I'm going straight to the spinning wheel. Level 18 crafting. And 73 hit points. Yay, another one step beginner. Hey, there we go. First clue scroll unique on the account. The sandwich lady top. After 24 beginner clues, almost all of them one steppers. Although it's my first unique and my friends think it's hot, I'm going to sell it. I don't have any other reason to hold on to it. And it's gone for 200 GP. Beginner casket 25. Oh no, air runes. My nice stack is ruined again. Can I just drop these? Go, oh, no, didn't work. This XP lamp gets me level 9 agility. 84 defense. And another lamp, but this won't get me a level, so I'll keep it until I get an XP book. Back to back Lumbridge step. For a casket. Hmm, okay. There's 74 hit points. The XP book I've been waiting for. That's level 10 agility. I could now do the Drainer agility course, but I'm not sure that I want to go to Drainer anytime soon, so I keep lamping agility. Another lamp? That was fast. That's 11 agility. And 85 defense, a quarter of the way to 99. One step casket, trash. And another casket. Oh, law runes, very very interesting. I'm keeping those. So this changes things a little bit. I know that my rules say that items obtained from random events do not make for new chunk objectives. So I don't actually have to do anything with the law rune yet. However, there's a medium tier diary task that requires me to cast the Lumbridge teleport spell. Not the home teleport, but the actual spell that requires 31 magic. So I will add that task to my to-do list actually, just because I want to. Not that it will take a long time at all. Got 7 more flex from a beekeeper, and that gets me to 19 crafting. Another mace random. Ooh, that's amazing. That's a lot of chaos runes and iron arrows. And that's 75 hit points. Another genie, that gets me level. 12 agility, only 1 XP book away from 13. But I think that will do it for this episode of the One Chunk UIM. This is what my loot tracker for men and women looks like after this video. I've collected a nice amount of runes and arrows already, and I can't wait to see what the stacks will look like at the end of the defense grind. Sad to see all the herbs that I had to leave on the ground, but I have no way to note them. I'd rather not think of all the herb lore XP that would have been, so feel free to count it up yourself. In this episode, I wielded the mithril battle axe, cast windbolt and fried the onion, so the only skilling challenge left to do is to obtain the defense cape. I also added one other small thing to my diary task to-do list, so I will also still need to get 31 magic to cast the Lumbridge teleport spell. If you made it to this point in the video, let me know how you liked it in the comments and leave a like while you're down there. The next step is to focus 100% on grinding defense as much as I possibly can. So if you want to see me complete the first chunk, consider subscribing. Thank you all so much for watching, and see ya!